these little baby hairs I don't know what they're doing just ignore them and look at my fly look okay <laughs> Hi there everyone, it's Misty here. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I have my August update for Pin That Palette. Pin That Palette was a project created by Amber F, who's linked down below, but the Fantastic Ladies have been doing themed um, projects for the last, I don't know. <laughs> so I jumped on their theme for 2022, which is Size Matters, and that is up to interpretation. So big, small, chunky, whatever you want it to be. And I have been working on the Profusion Infatuation palette. Um, I also brought in another palette to kind of hit pan this year in preparation for painting it to completion next year. We'll talk about that. And if you caught the um, Easter egg in the thumbnail, you know we're going to be talking about something else too. So let's get started. Excuse me. <laughs> I am filming this on Wednesday the 17th. Monday I filmed everything else that you've seen so far. I am feeling better. Not like 100% better, but like better. Um, I've been icing it. I've been like doing everything I can do. Um, I had issues getting in the car this morning. Uh, we have a Challenger, a purple Challenger, and it's a little bit low to the ground. <laughs> and I was like, every time I like, pulled my leg a different way, I thought I was going to throw up. But I made it. We're okay. We're doing okay. I'm feeling better. I've got my face on. I want to film a couple of videos. And yeah. And I blow dried my hair this morning. Like, your girl is feeling fly. So we gonna feel. Okay. Let's talk about the first palette in this video. That, is, or in this project. It's the Profusion Infatuation Palette. So as of the last update, I had finished uh, nine of the 11 shades that I wanna finish. Okay, so initially I had 12 of the mattes that I wanted to finish. If you guys know, I said I'm not messing with that light purple because the dark purple was impossible to use. So I had two shades that I needed to hit band on and you guys, I did it. I did it. Did it again. So, and um, I had Oasis that was left and Personal that was left. Oasis, I ended up using it a total of five times since the last update for 17 times. And then Personal, six, um, six times since the last update for a total of 20 times to hit ban. And when I hit ban on this shade right here, I am done with this palette. I, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot be more excited about my progress in this palette. I hit pan on 11 shades in a palette. 11 shades in a palette. And when we started this year, I'd hit pan and like I didn't even hit it until we started. This is the one, the one, this is the one that's turning it on. So I have wanted to hit as many pans as I could hit this year. Now I can't promise you that it's going to be the same next year, but I was like, okay, it's year two of painting, Misty. Let's kind of stretch ourselves, kind of force ourselves to get up and put makeup on more often. And I think it's paying off. So I am so excited. When I hit band in that shade, this is done. Finito, adios. Profusion can be hit or miss. The little tin band palettes, I haven't had any issues with them. Um, they're, they're a little powdery, sure, but they, like I'm using one today to blend this out and it blended beautifully with the blue in my crease. So some of their are okay, some of they are not, some of them are not. They're so inexpensive though that it may be worth it. I don't know. I'm so ready for this to be gone. Okay, let's talk about the other one. So I'm gonna throw up a picture of my Red Velvet Cupcake. This is from Glamlight. And I am just going to talk about um, the ones that actually have been used. So let's start with the first one. That shade is cream cheese. I cannot remember if I had pan in that last update or if this is a new pan. Anyway, I have pan in that one. <laughs> so yay. The second shade, which is buttery, I've only used once since the last update for four times. I'm going down to the next level because I already have pan in those last two shades and I'm just trying to hit pan right now. 
So for cake mix, I've used it one more time for a total of two. <laughs> Next, beside it, we have Cupcake Heaven. I've used it one more time for a total of three. Red Velvet. Red Velvet has actually gotten a lot of use because I've been pairing it with the red that I'm trying to paint in 101 Magical Pans. So as of the last update, I used it three more times for a total of nine. Okay, so not a lot, but a lot for me, right? So we're gonna skip Decadent. Decadent actually did have pan, but these shimmers are so malleable, you can move them around. So I've moved it around a little bit and actually it does have pan on the bottom but the pan is the same color as the eyeshadow. So I mean I could take a Q-tip and clean that off but we, I've already hit pan in that. So we're going to move on. Okay, bottom row, Sweet Cravings. I've used three times since the last time for a total of five. Um, Monday's Eye Look actually had Sweet Cravings and Buttery. Buttery was blending out um, like my transition shade, etc. So yeah. Next, we have Baked Goodies. I used one time. What is that one? Kisses. Kisses, I used one time. And then Super Moist, I used three times for a total of ten times. So, yeah. Making moves. So, as I mentioned, my goal for this palette is to hit pan in every shade by December 31st. That is the goal for this palette only for, and I, I, I know I can do it. I've started, I've already made, I've already got dips in these three mats and I'll post pictures and videos. You guys know how I do. Um, so I think, I think I can get there. Um, these kind of more mauve cooler purples are going to be on my eyes, October, November, December. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I've already decided, I'm going to do all neutrals in the month of September. And neutrals for me are mauves, <laughs> cool tone purples, mauve, like pink, you know, mauve purples, um, cool grays, those kinds of things. So like the Stone Cold Fox palette would be the palette I would use for an entire month of neutrals if I was going to. So anyway, you're going to see some of these purples in those looks for and even these two because they come off they're like a brownie pink i don't know how else to describe them the bottom one which is kisses more than buttery but yeah beautiful they're beautiful beautiful shades so it's august 17th <laughs> i'm not ending part of this until december 31st and i was like okay misty we'll just do this one palette and we'll just update when you want to but I've changed my mind and I need you to hear me out. <laughs> okay, okay. I am painting a ton of eyeshadows. I am, I'm in six different pan, you know, eyeshadow projects. I've put pro, pan, um, blah, 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 eyeshadows in a lot of different projects. So a part of me was like, Misty, you're already painting too much. You're already painting too much. But my thought process for everything that I'm hitting pan in now is that it's primed and ready for me to finish the next couple of years. So you guys know that I had taken a break from Juvia's Place. And if you missed it, God, I don't even remember. Was that in like January, February? It was It was earlier this year. Um, Juvia's Place paid an influencer to make a video about their new eyeliner. In that video that the influencer created, she used a slur, that a, a racial slur against Asians. She sent it to Juvia's Place. Juvia's Place approved it. Juvia's Place put it on their social media. When they started getting complaints from customers and customers letting them know, even like huge influencers like Robert Welsh, etc., they started clapping back. And they started clapping back at every one everyone so instead of taking a step back apologizing immediately you know we're so sorry we didn't realize you know we were blah 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 they just went on the attack and it's not the first time that she's been in controversy and it's not the first time she's been in controversy 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 that's racial related so I was like, okay, fine. You know, everybody can grow. We'll see how it goes. And then not even, I think it was like last month or the month before, someone had called them out on Twitter because they hadn't gotten paid. And she wasn't the only one. And she had receipts about how she'd emailed, how she DM'd, how she tried to call. She sent stuff on Twitter. She's messaged them on Facebook. 
And she said, I hate to do this. She's like, but I'm not getting any answers and I haven't gotten paid. And in that thread, there was probably 10 other influencers that hadn't got paid by Juvia's Place. So one time, shame on you. Second time, shame on me. There's not gonna be a third time. I, three, two strikes and you're out. For me, I don't put up with that kind of bullshit. I just don't. I, I just don't. And you can do what you wanna do. If you wanna continue buying from them, continue buying from them. Am I going to destroy everything that I already own? Absolutely not. But what I'm going to do is start trying to work what I have that I want to keep out. So with all that being said, blah, 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 I'm going to bring in this. So this is the Berries palette by them. This is their six pan and I will insert swatches. I was trying to figure out a palette that I could bring in that wasn't big, but could also be a companion to this one, and I think these two will play together beautifully. There are tones in this that can deepen this where this doesn't go very deep. There are tones in this that will blend out this because you do have two kind of deeper tones. It only has two shimmers um, with four mattes. My goal is gonna be to hit pan in every shade. There's no end date for that goal. Like if I do it by December, the end of December, coup. If it takes me to December 2023, cool. <laughs> All that matters to me is I'm getting use out of this palette. And once I feel like I've gotten my money's worth and I've gotten my usage out of it, then I will gladly donate it or, you know, donate it to the trash. If I use this and decide that I don't like the formula, then this will be something that gets donated to Project Beauty Share. So if I, I'm going to use every shade at least twice, maybe three times, because I've only used this one time. So twice or three times to see what I think of the formula. Do I like the mattes? Do I think the mattes play well with other? Um, hold on. <laughs> do I think the mattes play well with other um, eyeshadow in from other brands? And if it does, then yay, it'll stay. And if it doesn't, then it'll go. And I'll move on to the next one. I believe I have the pinks, the berries, the mauves, the taupes. Pink berry mauves topes. Let me pull my inventory. I think it's just pink berry mauves topes. Pink. Hold on. Juvia's. I need to update this because I didn't take out anything that I had donated. Um, I have the berries, the pinks, the mauves, the topes. I have the Nubian Royal. I have the violets. That's the last one I was missing. I have the Rebel Mint, the Nomad, and the Magic Mini. So my goal for next year or for the next year is to see how much I can, how much use I could get out of them. But again, I'm gonna go through each palette one by one. And if I don't like the formula, et cetera, then I'll go in um, my donation for Sydney, and no, Sydney Grace. <laughs> for <laughs> Project Beauty Sheer. So that's kind of my plan. Um, like I said, I am going to end on, this, you know, the end of December, restart, see what the Pantastic Ladies theme will be for next year. And if it's one I think will be fun and I want to do it, I'll continue. And if not, I'll just keep doing my thing. I want to pan this to completion. Like that is my ultimate goal for this. And again, for this, I want it to be a companion. We're about to get into fall and winter when these deep jewel tones are what you'll see on my eye a lot. Um, and so I, again, I think these two will just be perfect together. And again, I will swatch this one and insert a picture and then I will swatch them together and insert a picture too. Oh, hi <laughs> guys. I'm, I just can't today. So I will either try to swatch and put it in a reel or a short, or I will try to swatch for the next month, but I just, I can't today. I just can't. So that's it. Did I tell you I got my... <laughs> I got my notebook back. I got my notebook back. And um, there are some pages where I'm like, I cannot read what the hell that says, but um, it's good. But I'm about to transfer all of this into it. <laughs> but yeah, it's all janky. It's janky, janky. So yeah, but anyway guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Let me know how you're doing with your pan that palette. I, Again, I want to finish this one to completion. I want to start working through like my Juvia's Place, et cetera. Um, I, can I considered bringing in singles, but I am using Beauty A to Z eyeshadow to work through singles. Right now it's just, you know, working through 
my um, like my shimmers but we'll see what happens. I may do Beauty A to Z again next year. I may build my own palette to pan. I haven't really decided. I know we're in August. I want to say Jessica put up the poll last year for pan that palette like in October, May, then of October, beginning of November. So that'll be interesting to see what gets voted. Uh, anything else I need to tell you? I don't think so. Let me know what you think. I think this is a good move. <laughs> be okay I think it'll be okay I think it'll be okay so with that being said thank you so much for joining me today guys I really do appreciate you if you haven't already I hope you'll consider subscribing and um, have a good day night weekend wherever you are I love your faces and I will see you in my next video bye for now <laughs> <laughs> try to tell you no